Hello everybody, my name is Jerome and this is another video on using the I squared C protocol with the BeagleBurn Black. For this I'll be using the ADXL345 3 axis accelerometer and this follows the exact same format as the other I2C videos I've done previously. Nothing's really different, it's just configuring the registers and if you click on this link which you can find uh, via my website below or through the github uh, if you click on this link and we can go into the post BeagleBone Black ADXL345 3 axis accelerometer I just speak about some random stuff um, but more importantly you'll find the link to the data sheet you'll find the link to uh, the website I used um, so you'll find the link to the website I used so if you go onto here and then you can open up the data sheet and you can also use this uh, how to use the ADXL345 accelerometer sensor and I use this to basically see what configuration parameters I needed to adjust based on just you know simple measurements nothing nothing fancy so I use this as well so that, as I said that's all on the link following this blog post so moving on to the code we have um, just libraries to use we've got the address of the ADXL um, as I mentioned in the previous video, you can use the uh, command line to um, see what the address is. So if I type in I2C detect dash R and then 2 because I'm using I squared C uh, 2 and press Y, we can see that the sensor is connected to uh, hex, well, the address is hex 53. So if I just clear this, uh, so here are the registers we need. So we have the data registers, we've got the uh, the rate register, the power control register, and the data format register. All of this is taken from the data sheet. We've got two functions. One is the main. Um, sorry, we've got three functions. One is uh, initializing the sensor, so configuring these registers, reading from the sensor, and the main file. Not much has happened in the main, just calling the initialization, wait for a small time, and then constantly print off the values. If we go to the initialization, we can see that I made a two uh, element buffer of character types. We open the file, then we connect to the slave, then we set the uh, BW rate to 3200 and we also turn low power mode off so uh, if for example I take this register configure the data format register to full res so what does this mean so the ADXL 345 reg data format is hex 31 we can go into the uh, data sheet and We can see that hex 31 is the data format register, and here it is register hex 31 data format. And I gave it the value 0, uh, 8, so hex 8, so that'll be uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, full res. And uh, down here it says uh, it basically explains what the full res bit is. So when this bit is set to set to a value of 1. Uh, the device is in full resolution mode. So that's just an example of, uh, you know, what exactly this is doing. Going to the register and then writing this value into the register. And then lastly, we do the uh, power control register to turn the measurement, spelled correctly, uh, to turn on the measurement mode. Um, and because the power, the device is. Uh, in so if we go the device is uh basically not in measurement mode so it, it won't work so you have to set this bit high to pull it to measurement mode 
See, so close the file. And then here is the, the read function. We've got shorts because uh, the data is 16-bit uh, wide. Um, so it's got a high address and a low address of 8 bits each. Uh, we open the file, we connect to the slave, same as always. We set the buffer pointer to point to the first entry, which is 32. And you can also see that from here. So it goes from uh, data x0 to 1 to y0 to y1, etc. So that's why we set it to the start so it reads it, because it's going to increment uh, as we go along. Um, and so we read from the register and it gets stored in uh, the this uh, buffer called accelerometer buffer and it's of a type character so it stores 8 bits each close the file and I made a note here because the data is 10 bits wide meaning the high address contains the upper two bits um, so if you read the data sheet you understand what I mean therefore it shifted 8 bits to the left to bit uh, 10 and 9 precision. The lower address is odd with the first 8 bits of the 16 bit register. So basically, what I mean by this is you have the high address in this register and you have the lower address in this register, and they're both 8 bits. So you shift this 8 bits across, and then you have the uh, lower 8 bits odd with this value uh, from the accelerometer buffer lower register. Let me just print out the value. So if I run this, the code, just by running it, we can see that we're getting some values. If I just move it around, you'll see that the x, y, and z values are changing. So that's pretty much it for the code. Um, I did have a few problems. One of them is the values, it wasn't changing, and that's because this two element buffer which was configuring the registers uh, it was a type int and it just just didn't work it wasn't updating the value so I put that to type uh, char uh, which is 8 bits which does make sense and another problem um, I had was basically just understanding why this part of the code works but eventually I finally understood what I was writing um, and that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. Uh, as I said, everything is on the links below as well as the website. So thank you for listening.